Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Peter Loach is my name, stock market researcher and investor. I'm also a cryptocurrency researcher and investor. I talk to people about the stock market. I tell them to save, invest, and grow wealth. I also talk to people about cryptocurrency. I tell them to save, invest, and grow wealth. The aim is very simple, to create 10,000 millionaires. How do you create 10,000 millionaires? By urging people to save, urging them to invest, urging them to grow wealth over a period of time. And the period of time we are talking about here is about uh, three to five years. In three to five years, investing in stock market, investing in cryptocurrency, you should be a millionaire. I've done that, I know that it happens. It happened to me, it will happen to you. Today's topic is this, making losses in the stock market, making losses in cryptocurrency. Ladies and gentlemen, let's agree. Making money in the stock market is not very easy. Losses happen and you will get losses in the stock market. You will get losses while investing in the stock market. Making losses in cryptocurrency happens you will make losses in this cryptocurrency. Losses happen. Even the pros make losses. I was reading an article last month that Warren Buffett made a loss. The shares, his shares in Berkshire Hathaway, the shares went down from 460000 per share, $60,000 dollars per share. The shares dropped to about 400000 dollars per share according to the article warren buffett lost 40 billion dollars 40 billion dollars when i'm reading a book by peter lynch peter lynch was the ceo of megalan fidelity megalan one of the big fund managers in america and on this page page 11 he's saying that they went playing golf. He went playing golf. And he didn't even remember that he had a score. Of course, in playing golf, there are some scores people get. He doesn't remember that he had a score. The only score that got my attention later that day was that the million shareholders, one million shareholders in Megalan Fund had just lost 18% of their asset or two billion dollars in the Monday trading session. They had invested, of course they buy shares in the American stock market, New York Stock Exchange, NASDAQ, and the shares they had bought, the shares went down 18%. So in one day, Fidelity Megalan had lost 18%, uh, 18% that is two billion dollars. Ladies and gentlemen, losses happen in the stock market. So what do the pros do when the losses happen? There are two ways. One, you can cut your losses short so that you don't lose too much. Two, you can stay. As in, just let it be. The market goes down, the market comes up. So when the market goes down, you will recover. The market will come up again and you will recover. Those are two ways to deal with your losses in the stock market. What about in Kenya? In Kenya, I remember about three scenarios. One is Chris Kirubi. Chris Kirubi had uh, shares in uh, Centum Investment Bank. Okay, not Centum Investment <laughs> Centum. It's a conglomerate. It's an investment company. They buy and sell companies. So Chris Kirubi had shares in Centum. By the time I was meeting him, Chris Kirubi bought shares in Centum and Chris Kirubi, the shares were about 40 shillings. One share of Centum was about 40 shillings. Three months later, one share of Centum was about 84 shillings, Kenya shillings. As I'm speaking to you now, one share of Centum is about 10 shillings. So the shares dropped from 84 to 10 shillings. 
Mm-hmm. Is Chris Kirubi the only person who have lost money in the stock market or lost money in the shares? No. I have another case of uh, in the 2021 there was a new story of uh, Britam. Britam lost 9 billion Kenya shillings. They had invested in some stocks and the stocks they had invested in they lost 4 billion in the equities market. So ladies and gentlemen even the pros lose money. The thing is how well do you recover after losing money? Then there was old mutual. In the same year, 2021, it was the year after COVID, eh? COVID was 2020, old mutual had lost 1 billion shillings. Courtesy of the shares they bought at the Nairobi Securities Exchange, the shares plunged. So I want to assure you this. Losses will happen. In the stock market, Losses will happen in crypto. So be prepared for it. There's gaining, then there's losses. Then what you need to do is learn to manage the losses. When the losses come, learn to manage the losses. What I tell members of the JP group is this. Use an OCO order. One order cancels the other. When losses come, absorb your losses very quickly. Accept 1% loss. So that you don't suffer irreparable damages to your portfolio. When the shares go up, well, you can enjoy 5% profit, 3% profit, 10% profit, but don't allow losses. When the losses come, deal with it instantly. If you allow losses to get bigger and bigger and bigger, your portfolio can reduce to zero. Let me give you a case of uh, at river mining. At river mining dropped from 95 shillings per share to zero. And there are some uh, investors who put in 14 billion shillings. They lost. So stock market is good. It can it has a potential to give you big returns. But the stock market is also dangerous. It has potential to make you huge losses. The trick is learn to manage the losses and learn to make the huge returns. So ladies and gentlemen, if you are discouraged that the stock market is down, be happy. Warren Buffett says, stay invested. So if you stay invested, he has, been, he has stayed invested, never sold his shares in Berkshire Hathaway so for 70 years. In the long run, stock market goes up. And that's how you make your money. Ladies and gentlemen, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, welcome to my Telegram group. I have a Telegram group where I teach people about the stock market and cryptocurrency. And I also have a special group. It's a VIP group where I teach you the nitty gritty of stock market investing and the nitty gritty of cryptocurrency investing. If you're new here, click uh, subscribe and welcome to our Telegram group. The name of the Telegram group is Stock Market Investing 101. There's another guy calling himself Peter Watch Stock Market. The guy is a thief. He's l stealing people's money, telling them to send money to him. The guy is a thief. The name of our group is Stock Market Investing 101. Stock Market Investing 101. The name of my group is not Peter Lodge Stock Market Investing. That man is a thief. He's a con man. He's stealing from people's money. He's stealing people's money. Welcome to Telegram. Welcome to my Telegram group. Welcome to class. And remember, even the pros make losses in the stock market. So the aim is, if you're in losses, you can get, you get out very quickly at 1% loss or stay invested. Of course, you stay invested after doing your homework. If you don't understand the stock market, I urge you to get a copy of this book. This is my book. I wrote it. It's my experience with 9,000 other Kenyans. The cost is 1,500 shillings. I will deliver to your doorstep. Bye. See you in the next video. And remember to get your copy. Also remember to press like. Also remember to subscribe.
Lastly, remember to join the Telegram group and remember to join the October VIP group. Bye for now. See you in the next video.